Hey Smitty, I have a problem. My mom married my stepdad about 15 years ago, and after that we moved to North Carolina across the road from his parents and his brothers and sisters. Since we've been there, we have not have a, had a warm welcome. Talk about Southern hospitality. Um, his parents have belittled my mom, li told lies about her, told lies about me. My little sister is their biological granddaughter, and they treat the other grandchildren a lot better than her. Um, I've had problems with their grandson in school and outside of school, and when I tell them about it, they say that I'm lying. When there are family functions, we're not invited, and they say it's last minute, although there are a bunch of people there from out of town. How do I deal with them without being disrespectful because they're 78 years old? The only other way to suggest you to do since they're in-laws is communication because they're older people, they're older adults, and older adults love to talk, and you have to find some kind of common interest. I'm pretty sure I probably never really ever sat down, even talked, conversed. So communicating with them will allow them to understand who you really are and y'all can find a common interest. And then y'all can build a respect. But you kill them with kindness. You don't let them see that they're getting under your skin. So just be yourself and communicate with them. When you see them, smile. Say, hey, how you doing today? Show them that you love them unconditionally, even though they're in-laws and they may irritate you. But... Don't let it get to you. I, I can understand with the whole, you know, treating your mom like that and treating you like that because it's an emotion. And it's very hard for us to control our emotions. But with people, communication goes very far, especially with older adults. So just get to know them. Smile when you see them. Act like you're really happy to see them. I'm not saying be, you know, front, but I'm just saying just communication. Don't let them be able to read you like a book. Allow them to open up your page and they really get to know who the true Jasmine is. So that's the only thing I can really suggest with you, especially because they're older adults. Alright, hope you're having a good one, and I hope I help. If you got a question, just ask me.